Welcome back to River City Live. It's time for Rip First City Pets with Dr. Mike Harris, Michael Harris of the Sixth Street Vet. It's an Ask the Vet segment, which means you can get your questions answered right here on River City Live. And Mojo is excited because, well, I called Mojo and I said, Mojo, should we do a segment with this question about treats? And Mojo was like, anything you can talk about treats, I'm all down with. Yeah. But the treats we want to discuss are treats that might be dangerous for your pets. Yeah, you know, I think there's a, a couple things to think of when we're purchasing treats in the store. Um, Mojo is loving his peanut butter biscuit right now. Um, I tell people, like, look at what it's made out of. And also the texture of it is really important. Um, dogs love to chew on things, and he's currently coughing up a treat. Um, they love to chew on stuff, but some things that are too hard or that they try to, t to swallow really big pieces of could create you some problems. Okay, what about actual ingredients? I mean, in addition to the way the texture is, I know that when we give our dogs things that we might love to get at the holiday season, like chocolate and so forth, that's not considered exactly. a good idea. Yep, exactly. And so some things to avoid, like you said, chocolate, um, caffeine, um, grapes and raisins, you know, are poisonous. And so ingredients are important. And then also, um, anytime you give them anything new, I know at, at our house at Christmas, they get a big, like either a big rawhide chew or a big bone. You want to look at that because anytime you give your dog something new, if he chews off big pieces of it, even if it's something digestible, it can still cause an obstruction because it may start to pass out of their stomach before it's broken down into little pieces. So how, what do you, how do you know? Because that just seems so obvious that you want to give your dog something to chew on, especially during the holiday times to keep them maybe active when you have friends over. How do you know which ones? A couple, couple things know the risks. Um, natural bones and hard plastic toys, they can crack their teeth on. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, if you, poor buddy, I tell people that if you think that you could hurt a tooth by biting on it, so could your dog. Um, and animals don't die from broken teeth, but those teeth might have to get extracted. That means anesthesia and added expense. Um, raw hides are not good for some dogs. So if they swallow a rawhide, it gets down to the stomach. It's digestible. It's not going to cause a problem. The problem is, and Mojo does this, when they get them slimy and they try to swallow the whole thing, oh. eh, not good because if it gets stuck in their food tube or their esophagus, that is really, really bad. So if you give rawhides, watch. And if you start seeing them getting them slimy, trying to shove the whole thing down their throat, needs to go away. They can't have it. What about things like the pig's ears and the cow hooves? Cow hooves, again, watch that. That can be a risk for breaking teeth. Okay. Um, and things that are natural like that, again, not a good idea to give your dog three pig ears in a day if he's never had them. You might have some tummy upset after that. So anything new, go slow and make sure that you watch them. Once you know that they crunch that up, they chew it up, it doesn't bother their stomach, then you know that that's a good thing for your particular pet. Well, Mojo just uh, whispered in my ear. You didn't see it because we were on you. But he wanted to know why we're going so negative. And couldn't we please talk about something positive? So what can we give our dogs? <laughs> um, you know, once you know there's something that is, is okay with their stomach, that's great. Also, um, you know, biscuit-type treats, peanut butter treats, things like that, those are almost always safe. And then of uh, food, carrots, um, cucumbers, um, apples, little apple slices, stuff like that is really good. And then if you can do things like cheese or chicken, just small amounts because those calories can add up. And Mojo, you know, he just started a little diet. So no, sometimes we do have to watch bud. their figure. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. So before we head out uh, to ranch, let's say hello to our friend Gloria. Hey, Gloria. And, Mojo says hi. And let's find out how you can ask the vet. You can do it simply by emailing askthevetrcl at gmail.com. You can reach uh, Dr. Mike and the gang on the phone. Phone number is 904-259-2200 or 6 Thank you so much. Rants.